<laughs> call me, but oh. someone called me that represents him. Oh, and said he wanted to apologize, and you said, I ha yeah, you can apologize, but apologize in public like you went at me in public. Right, and I told you about that when it happened. Mm -hmm. I'm, at, and, I'm, I'm, I'm the judge. I don't know anything. Okay. Go ahead. Well, anyway, so that did happen a couple of days ago, and I actually have those text messages from said person, but mm. I'm not going to put them out there. Okay, so you and, have it now. Yes, so as far as the ban, I said he's welcome to come on the show. I said, I'll be traveling a lot because I do have this lip service tour coming up and I'll be in Detroit next week and I'll be in Houston next week also. So I might not be there for it. And I also don't trust him. Like, I don't trust he might say something else on you again. So I don't know that I trust it. But tell him to come up there. I might not be there. And that might be better. Now, so Gucci Man is not banned. No, never banned him. And you have the receipts with that, the text messages. Yes. Okay. Now, Gucci Man said that he did lip service before with you and Melissa Ford. All right. So let's clear that up. Gucci Man was never on lip service. If you see that video, clip There's which by the way I do have that full interview at home so I uh, might put that out one day but anyway when you see the video clip it clearly says the morning after which is a morning show that I had on Shade 45 on Sirius lip service was a nighttime show and the other part of that is I was with Melissa Ford in Atlantic and um in Vegas for the iHeart Festival and she said I don't know why Gucci Mane said that I was on lip service with you because I wasn't even there I've never even met him Oh, so the fact that he said that he was on lip service with Melissa Ford, those are two things that are not true. Now, the last thing Gucci Mane said was that you texted him that uh, what hotel you were at, referring to that you were going to swing by. Is that true? Of course not. I don't even have Gucci Mane's number to text him. So, you know, and look, maybe he thought I texted him. I was looking at some of his old tweets. And when people say, why would Gucci Mane lie? Gucci Mane has had a history of lying. We have these old tweets where he talks about a lot of different women, and I'm not going to repeat them because it's very disrespectful. I'll repeat them. Give it to but me. But he talks about... That's part of the court. I have right, to repeat them. All right, you want to see it? This, yes, this is uh, evidence A, B, and C. I have to repeat them. I have to let the people know because people don't know what you're talking about. What did he say? Can you pass me those tweets, please? Okay, and make sure you read the last tweet that uh, is on the last page now, this when is you all read alleged. all of these. No, they're not alleged. He really tweeted these. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> and he did apologize for these tweets after uh, he admitted that he lied. Okay, he says, Me and Waka F Nicki Minaj. That's nothing. All right. Then he said, FGZ tip Gotti, uh, walking Nicki Minaj. She says, uh, the last one or the last page, uh, Iggy want to suck my D. Uh, I had a threesome with Keisha and a white girl as Coach K in Orlando. Uh, Fantasia hit was good. Drew was taking Okay, this is disrespectful. Uh, all right. I'm just reading it. It's not me. I'm just reading it. I'm just reading well, it. Well, anyway, these are all it. things that uh, Gucci Mane tweeted out himself personally. And then was there an apology? Uh, he said, I'm addicted to lean and that ish ain't no joke. I can barely remember all the things I've done and said. However, there's no excuse. Yet somehow he remembers a text from me where no something involved, but I, he's saying that I texted, what hotel are you at? But he remembers that. Okay, now, I seen the Jasmine brand posted something last night about uh, the real reason that allegedly that he's mad at you. Now, what is that from? What does that stem from? Um, so allegedly, according to the Jasmine brand, a source told them that Gucci Mane has an issue with me because of an interview that we did with Yo Gotti. He you bangs your partners, girl. Damn, Gotti, man. <laughs> you ain't my friend, man. But that was your, but that was your girlfriend, though, right? Wasn't it like Gotti said, Emmy, my partner. Oh, I, I didn't know, know that. that was your wife. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. but I didn't know, like, you know, like, you in love and all that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I got you, I got come you. Come on, man, you yeah. know how the gang go. Mm -hmm. Shorty the one told me she used to mess with home. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't know that. Oh, she told you, but it was too late. You wasn't ready. No, I don't say it was too late, but I mean, like, yeah, I used to be too late, but <laughs> she told me, she like, you know, I used to talk to sis, sis. I'm like, yeah, they're my partner. But did that deter you? Like, oh, well, that's my partner, so I can't, you know. No, I made sure she knew that was my partner. All right. Wow. Okay. All right. There's well, more, right? 805. There's more? Yeah. Here's some more from the interview with Yo Gotti that I guess has Gucci Mane upset to this day. And I guess he felt some vendetta toward me. What about the last tweets that he sent out when he was just acting all crazy on Twitter and all of that, and he called you out again? I was just, from that point on, like, I was just laughing at home, though, because, like, what I knew, to me, on that day, I think the world seen what I had already knew.